What's up, LTG gang? Welcome to my summarization of the level Club Step. Sorry if I look like a bandit. I want to keep my identity hidden. Anyways, let's get started. I don't even know. I'm looking at the camera and this looks weird, bruh. What's up? <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, let's just start the video. So the level starts off with this pretty simple cube gameplay. I could do this with my eyes closed. I'd probably rate it like hard or harder. No, hard. It's very easy. Uh, you could do this whole 0 to 2% part by just holding down the button. So if there's a freebie, I'm going to take it. Can you blame me? Next up, we have to hit these orbs, which is pretty simple. There's only one fake out of many to come in the level. And then you come down in here with a bunch more fake orbs. We love those. And this coin, this coin right here, basically free. Like, come on, I'm just going to click that one orb to get it. You click the last orb to go the intended route. In my opinion, the coin route's easier. And then it just carries on with this gameplay style. Like, fake orbs and just easy gameplay, you know? It's not that bad so far. And, uh... Until it gets to this memory section, which also isn't that bad. Just look at your monitor super closely, and you'll still be able to see the blocks. So yeah, there's this memory section. It's not that bad. And then you hit this orb at the end, go through these portals, and this ship section. This ship section is where it starts getting hard. Although I said it's where it starts getting hard, it's also probably one of the easiest sections in club step, so I'm sorry if you're trying to beat it. So you can see in these club step monsters, there's real spikes and fake spikes. Sp fake spikes are safe to touch. The real spikes are not, obviously. So you go over this real spike and then down <laughs> for this first one. And then once you go in this upside down portal, click, and then you should be good. I just did one little click and then I was safe. And then the third one, I hold for the most part until I'm approaching those two spikes and then I let go. And then I'm right side up again and I can just go through that one entirely because the whole thing's fake spikes and the whole thing at the bottom is real spikes. So it's basically go through which one and you won't die. I'm sorry, this mask is itchy. What if I just... And then once you go in here, see, I used to straight fly at this part until I eventually found out the memorization is easy. So, there's real spikes and fake spikes, but the real spikes blend in and turn into fake spikes, so you have to guess which ones are real. Try to memorize it, because I learned the hard way that the memorization's easier. I've been straight flying for, like, most of my club step journey, but doing the memorization's easier, so do the memorization, please. And then you go through this little fun part, and there's more orbs. No fakes yet. Also no fakes. And then one fake, and then another fake. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Basically, it's safe to hit all these, and then don't hit that last blue orb, and don't hit this first yellow orb, and then you should be good. And then you hit these last yellow orbs, and go into the ball portal. And now this ball gameplay gets a little tricky. What was that voice crack? Ugh. So once you hit the ball portal, you turn into a ball. You hit this first yellow orb, dodge the second one, Hit these blue orbs, then go up. It looks like there's nowhere you can go, right? You're, you're cooked. It's over. Well, there's a little gap right here, as you can see, where you can go up and hit his eye, which is a blue orb. Yeah, don't let decoration fool you. It's part of the gameplay. It takes you onto this pink pad, and you jump down onto this yellow orb. Then it's pretty simple ball gameplay from here. I'm pretty sure you can guess what to do. Until this again, where the decoration will fool you. You have to stay up here and go inside, because there's no ground. It looks like there's a ground, but no, it leads to death. Then more easy ball gameplay. Miss that, miss that yellow orb. Then go into the UFO portal. This UFO portal is the bane of my existence. There's some tight timings, but basically just try not to hit the spikes in the club set monsters. It's hard. I know. I still fail at it every now and then. And uh, I beat club set like a week ago at the time of recording this, so. Not fun. Then you end up in this ship section, which is pretty simple flying. It only really requires one click, but sometimes I fail to do the one click and I fly a little bit wonky. It doesn't matter, as long as you make it through. And to prove that it's only one click, here, listen to my click. Just hold, let go. Like that. Then you're a cube, you jump up here, hit all these orbs except the last blue one. Then you 
hit none of these orbs except the one with the arrow on it. Which is kind of a blind jump, so good luck with that. But you can see it a little bit before, like over here. And then from here you could hit all these orbs. I chose not to hit that last blue one because it's kind of pointless. You could survive not hitting it. <laughs> if you jump late enough, that is. Why am I so damn white? Anyways, ship sections like these are my least favorite part about club step. You have to fly up here into the upside down portal and let go and click again to fly downwards. You have to let go so it doesn't like launch you into spikes at the top or at the bottom. And then fly downwards into this little memory area shouldn't be that hard to figure out if you did the first flying if you did the first flying area that was memorization then you should be able to do this it's not that bad then you're hit with this ufo i memorized the intended path and the coin path and they're at like the same difficulty level it's not that hard to go for the coin i say go for it because that's what i did and then these club set monsters aren't that hard just remember which spikes are real and you should be fine and this flying section used to piss me off but now it's not that bad. You can fly through these top fake spikes in the first one, and in the second one, these bottom ones. And then you actually fly over this one because all of these spikes are real. And then you go down and each jump is like a little click. So pretty simple. And then you straight fly a bit and do this chaos. Yup, that's right. Your eyes are not deceiving you. That's a reverse gravity portal in a flying section. ONCE AGAIN! Click, click, go, click, click, go, click, click, go. Ah, I hate this part. For the flying sections like these, why must they exist? Then, at this cube part, you only hit the first two blue orbs and it should take you down here, where you do some parkour. Don't jump on that last block. Actually fall down and you'll jump on an invisible block. And then jump into the ship portal, where there's more of this! I think you could tell that I struggled a lot with these ship parts. Then you have to get through these guys, which easier than it looks, trust me. It's not it's not horrible, but I did fail a couple times at that. So I don't know. And you could hit all these orbs, jump on these invisible blocks, then get through these club stuff monsters. <gasps> what? Wait, what? And you finish the level. Pretty simple, right? No, the flying sections is the reason that I haven't beaten the level earlier. Overall rating of the level, 7 out of 10. I just hate those flying sections. Without the flying sections, it'd be like a good 8 out of 10. They'd have brought it down a whole level. I don't know. <laughs> well, at least it's finally over with, and I can finally move on to my next main level that I have to work up. Oh no. Well, let's just live in the present moment. And enjoy the fact that I have my fans to support me. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and it'll let me know you enjoyed it. Also, if you want to see more of my videos, you can hit the subscribe button and YouTube will recommend you more of my vids. I'd like if you did that. It'd be pretty cool. No? Okay, whatever. See you all, TG gang.